Yo, good afternoon, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain with a brew this time. So today's featured guest is 329 Days of Sun Lager because it's hot as fuck out. Um, I have a cap for the tower. Ooh. Now back to Elastos, my friends, and today we are going to be moving from the P2P network carrier to the Elastos runtime. Why this is a critical element to the Elastos vision of creating a new way value will be transferred, including digital assets. The P2P network is where data is transferred from device to device in the most secure way available to date. So what about the runtime? What does it do? The Elastos runtime environment will enable Elastos on other operating systems like Android, iOS, Windows, Linux, and others. This means that the dApps of Elastos will not be limited to the Elastos OS, but can be powered from any other operating system, leading to fast adoption by developers. Digital contents can be used in a trustful environment provided by this runtime. The ELA runtime can be considered a developer's framework and is based on their own in-house component assembly runtime, which can be shortened to CAR. The CAR is some of the most revolutionary Elastos tech and is used heavily with all of the Elastos projects. The build is heavily component focused and allows communication from different programming languages. This means Elastos can support software as a service in developers' native code such as C and C++. The runtime utilizes the binary file format .cls to cross language and network barriers, which allows developers to make program calls in other languages such as Java and JavaScript, but with no more Java native interfaces. In essence, they are building the C++ version of Java Virtual Machines. The Java virtual machine has glaring problems, which lead to many of the hacks, DDoS attacks, and security issues. The Java VM cannot run 100% of applications securely because of the Java native interface. The Java native interface then connects back to the operating system, such as Windows, leading to leaks across devices. The actual Java code that runs inside of the Java virtual machine in order to communicate with the device needs to communicate with a kernel first. The Java VM and kernel cannot talk directly, so they use a bridge called those Java native interfaces. The execution of the code has to be removed from the sandbox environment. And when code is leaving is when man in the middle attacks happen, as hackers are able to steal, morph, and corrupt the code. Rong Chen explained this nicely about why this build make Elastos so secure. Say a person is playing a game on their mobile phone. With Elastos runtime, only one VM is created, and then when the game is over, the VM is destroyed. The application game ran and data is transferred from the game owner or publisher to the person playing. No other data is being transferred or left from the applications. When the person is done, all remains of the virtual machine are gone or destroyed, leaving no vulnerabilities. So with the last dose in their car-based C++ virtual machine, you can run the runtime and VM on any device. While with Java and JavaScript, you need to install things to the underlying operating system of the device. The Elastos runtime and virtual machine can run on top of any OS, and in the future, you'll have an application called Elastos, which you can download from the App Store, and the application will function as your entrance into the world of Elastos dApps. This is Elastos Runtime. Kieran P., another great Elastos researcher and evangelist, put together this image of how Elastos Runtime will function on any Android device. You will have your regular apps, which are vulnerable to attacks and hacks because they, by design, cannot be fully sandboxed. There will be native apps, which run the Elastos SDK, which are also not sandboxed, but let you integrate blockchain functionality to the existing app, like ID services. Then there is the dApps, which can be run with the Elastos runtime, like ViewChain and Rig Mobile Games, which are already in development. 
RIG stands for Reactor Independent Game Build, and they will be using the Lastos and their VM as a security sandbox for the game acts to securely decrypt and load games, as well as authenticate permission and prevent tampering and cheating within those games. The parties are jointly developing a set of easy to integrate SDKs and plugins for Unity, Unreal Engine, and others. If Rick was building with normal Java, this is how things would function. First, the person would pick up their phone and unlock it, which would gain access to the underlying operating system. A rig gaming application would be opened. The app would then begin running the Java virtual machine. The Java virtual machine then reaches out to the Java native interface, which then talks to the kernel, which gives the actual orders to the device. Here is where the code is vulnerable and these horrible man in the middle attacks happen. Now let's look at rig building with the Lasso's runtime and Seabase virtual machine. You would pick up and unlock your phone, which would gain you access to the underlying operating system. You would open the rig dApp game in the Lasso's runtime app. The Seabase virtual machine would directly interact with the kernel using C programming language, and the code would never leave the virtual machine. This would prevent all the man in the middle attacks, and most viruses would be shut down and out. If we take a look at other DApp platforms, such as Ethereum and Neo, you notice that there is no resource and tests of DApps because everything is written onto the main chain. With the last of DApps, they will have the full resource capacity of the device it is running on, making resource intensive games and applications possible in a secure, trusted environment. All Elastos DApps will be able to scale by being able to run on any OS and on any device and the entire resource capacity can be used by the dApp. The barrier to dApp entry will be lowered because any Android user or iOS user can download and use the dApp. I know I don't usually do these things on my breaking down the blockchain videos, but I would really like to take a look at the Lasso's price and highlight why now would be a very good time to think about making an entrance. Lasso's is sitting at $20.67 per ELA, just a couple bucks above its ICO price. The price took a good hit because it was announced that the circulating supply would be increased due to the release of pre-sale investors. You guys, we all knew this was coming and the price should not take a hit like it has. Just look at Cardano. Their circulating supply is 26 million with another 19 million to release, which they eventually will. And this should be known by investors and should not cause any panic. Well, viewers, I'm glad I could get into the nitty gritty of the Elastos runtime, and I hope I broke it down in some digestible terms. As always, viewers, you are everything to this channel, and I appreciate every single one of you. Peace out, cheers, and I'll see you tomorrow.